The nerf zombie strike hammer shot is still on my list of favorite nerf blasters even though it's 6 years old. Unlike other blasters, there's no gimmicks to it, it's just a solid foam firing revolver. It's a special one in my collection because I still remember being the first person at Target to get one and also getting it one day before its official release. It's been featured countless times in my videos but for quite a while it's remained dormant within the piles of nerf guns in my house. You can't do much with something if you feel like you squeezed all the fun possibilities out of it. So imagine my excitement when Orange Modworks opened the door to the possibility of making a great nerf blaster even better. I'm late to join the party, but this is the OTAC Hammershot S1 mod kit. It comes with a bunch of high quality parts and metal pieces to beef up the performance of the Hammershot. In this story, I'll give you an up close and personal look at the creative process for this project and also how I handle the unseen obstacles that come up when trying to transform a beloved relic of the past into a modern piece of badassery. If you've seen my other nerf mod videos, you know that along with performance improvements, I always make it a habit to give blasters complete makeovers as well. Quite often at this point I hit mental roadblocks on how to repurpose the aesthetics of a blaster. It's not always as easy as slapping on your favorite color. I searched on Google, looked at my spray paint collection, looked at the blaster, all in hope to find inspiration. I knew one thing though, the color silver was going to be on the blaster and I wanted to use white to contrast it. I made a crappy mock-up in Photoshop that didn't please me because I realized I already used the color red in my last mod video. It was time for a fresh color palette. Finally, it all clicked when I picked up my freshly bought can of deep mint spray paint. Now was as good of a time as ever to try this color out. With my colors locked, I began to dissect the hammer shot. It was a pleasant surprise to find that all the screws were the same size and all the internals were housed cleanly as if placed on a plastic platter. Life just seemed a little easier in this moment. After giving the pieces a relaxing shower, I let them dry and picked out some different grit sandpaper to roughen the surfaces and get at those pesky logos and imprinted warning labels. If I leave those on, they just ruin the aesthetic for me. Fast forwarding a little bit, I applied a good coat of the white as my primer and then I was on my way to masking specific parts for painting green. Got me some frog tape to do the job. Never, never trust $4 no name brand masking tape. I learned that the hard way. So what you're witnessing on screen is a lazy job of masking. Cover up things better than this, otherwise particles of paint can sneak their ways onto parts you don't want painted. Spoiler alert, yeah that's what happened. But hey, that mint is looking pretty clean so far. I am not sponsored or affiliated with them, but I want to give a shout out to Frog Tape. Their tape produced the cleanest lines I've ever seen. Totally worth the money. Finally, I could start detailing and fixing up minor imperfections using enamel paints. This is no doubt a tedious procedure, but when someone puts care into their detailing, it just makes the whole blaster come alive. It's got to be one of my favorite activities when modding a blaster. Shout out to these people for answering the last food for thought. Answer this video's question using the hashtag and you might be featured in the next Food for Thought. It was time to give the Hammershot's internals a complete overhaul. Installation of the S1 mod kit was fairly straightforward. It involved swapping parts, putting in a new spring, all that jazz. I'm subpar when it comes to tinkering so it was incredibly helpful that Orange Modworks had a whole tutorial video on YouTube. It's a huge relief when everything fits into the shell and works as advertised. With the screws tightened and the blaster tested, it's time to reveal the finished product. Introducing my Hammershot mod, The Chemist. The white and mint green create such a crisp contrast that fully embrace the silver and black from the orange mod work pieces. And this specific color palette feeds into the minimalistic look I was trying to achieve. Funny enough, it unintentionally looks like a blaster a dentist would use. You can see specific parts detailed in a metallic silver color to give the impression that they're heavy duty bolts holding the shell together. You'll never see me bragging about the precision of my paint jobs cause I always end up with messy bits, but as a whole I'm satisfied to give the once orange and black apocalyptic blaster a much needed modern revamp. The metal pieces work even better than they feel. The barrel can hold 6 darts which is slightly better than the original 6 dart capacity barrel. 
Gavin Fuzzy's custom 3D printed 8 dart barrel definitely tops Orange Modworks' barrel, but still, that extra 1 dart capacity does make a difference. That's just one more dart to shoot my friends with. The hammer is amazing. Unlike the original hammer, it's extended at the back which allows people with tiny man-child hands like me more easily prime the blaster with a single hand. It also has textured grooves for extra grip. Just be careful, you don't overdo it because your fingers can get raw over time. Any time you can make priming easier just makes the usability of the blaster all the more memorable. There's nothing wrong with the stock performance of a hammer shot, but you gotta love that an already solid blaster can be more powerful with the installation of that 8kg spring. The blaster shoots harder now, which makes it a more viable choice on the foam battlefield. And I just love those pop noises it makes when you fire. This kit for sure was a reward and a half. With Orange Modworks' help, it feels like the chemist is a brand new blaster. But unlike a store-bought product, it's personalized and unique. I think I did it, I made a great blaster even better. At the end of the day, the chemist is going to be getting more action and spending less time collecting dust in the foreseeable future. Thank you to Orange Modworks for sending me this amazing kit. Their links are on the screen and in the description. They have lots of different products made to improving your Nerf blasters. Watch my other Nerf videos on the screen and in the corner. If you want to buy Nerf gear, I have affiliate links down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.